got in to my cell, it was about two o'clock in the morning, lights slanting in from the day room. It's a two-man cell. Thinking, all right, that's an improvement, because where I came from, it was three-man. And my cellmate was asleep on the top bunk, and I'm wondering why, because where I come from, they fight over the bottom bunk. So I go in there, and it's dark, but there's a bit of light. I'm thinking something's not quite right, and I put a sense movement on the walls and see them. I put my eyes right up to one of the walls, it's covered in cockroaches about the size of almonds. In particular, they're pouring out of gaps in the wall at the bunk where I was supposed to go to sleep. Now, I got used to the violence by now. I'm trying to get to sleep with these crawling, I'm giving a nervous breakdown, I had to get put on medication. At 8 at night, you're locked in the cell. 10 o'clock is what's called lights out. It's like the cockroaches know just when the lights are about to go out. They line up in the cracks in the wall. You see their antennae sticking out. As soon as the lights go out, they just flood the room. You've got a choice. You can wrap a sheet around you so you look like the mummy, and it does keep them off you, but it traps the desert heat to your body, and you've got these bleeding skin infections and bed sores. It's almost 50 degrees in Phoenix. It's the hottest of the big cities in America. It's hot all year round. You're sweating day after day, and you get these skin infections that are itchy, but your skin's soggy, so when you scratch yourself, clumps of your skin detach under your nails. So it's too uncomfortable to keep that sheet wrapped around you like that because you've got this skin condition. So you throw the sheet off you and they crawl and you, they go by. They start out coming on your feet, you tickling your limbs. They try to get in your ears to eat your earwax. It's like honey to them. Is anyone in here asthmatic? Yeah. Check this story out. And I had a neighbor in Maximum Security who was asthmatic. He wakes up one morning, he's out of breath, grabs his inhaler, takes a blast, and there's cockroach in it. He says he can feel it inside him and he throws up his stomach contents and he can't get it out. Now even in the daytime, there's so many cockroaches, the guys in the day room are doing cockroach races on the day room tables, gambling Snickers bars on the winner. And first thing in the morning, you see all the fellas come out of their cells with these little plastic containers they put peanut butter in to trap cockroaches during the night. And they'd empty all the dead ones into the trash can on the stairs. It didn't matter how many kill though, it was like they owned the building. Yeah, they were our true cellmates. The it was just stuff of nightmares. The, um, is, I mean, are these conditions, the horrific conditions you could, you know, like a daily crime moment, really? Are they, are they a deterrent, do you think? I mean, well, Phoenix has got the highest crime rate in America. It's not a deterrent. These gang members, they, when they get released, they can't get jobs. And they're, they're not respected on the streets by normal society, but in, they've made names for themselves in the prison system. They're badasses. So it's like as soon as they're coming back in, you know, all of the fellow, all of the mates just run to the windows, give them the nods, the fist shakes, and all this. And it, it, it's like they're just right back home. It's just it's pure gang culture. Okay, yeah. Can I ask a question? 